We have gone over a lot of code at this point. We're going to be using Minecraft now to review some of those key concepts and begin to introduce new stuff. Let's get started. This is code.org and I'm Steve. Well, now I am. Add a second move forward block to reach the sheep. Oh, okay, so we got two blocks on our screen. I need to add one. Move forward. Go, Steve, go. Go, Steve. Yeah, sheepified. Onward. All right. Wood is a very important resource. Okay, walk to the tree and destroy. Ooh. Okay, so I can only use up to four blocks here. I got a wind run. One, two. Now I only have one block left. So I guess two steps and then destroy. Let's find out. And notice, code always runs in order. I click the run, boop, and it says move forward, move forward, destroy. Bam. Look at that. Fist of steel. Yeah. Onward. All right. Sheep shearing time. Use the shear command. Okay, so I have one block down here. Oh, this one's getting more complicated because I can use up to seven. I think I'm two steps away. One, two. And then how do I, do I just do this? Great thing about code. You can be half right and test it all you want. Oh, naked sheep. Okay. Um, oh, oh, I'm so sad. Um, all right, let me turn right, maybe? And then I think it's one step, and then I get to shave the, the sheep. Wish I had, like, a blanket for him. All right. Hello. Maybe I'll make a blanket with their wool. Hello. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Onward. All right. We need to build a house before the sun goes down. Okay, they require a lot of wood. Cut down three trees. Oh, we already got a lot of blocks. Let me see what this does. Oh, yeah, my fist. Okay, so I can only use up to 15. Oh, and they have me turn left. Okay, let's see. I think two more steps, maybe? And again, test a lot with code. It's so much easier to test something and be wrong than get to the end of the program, have 100 blocks here, and have one minor detail you have to find. So notice I just add a few blocks and hit run just to make sure. Yeah, and I do that all the time, and I usually know what I'm doing. Left, I think. But maybe I want to check. So I've only added one block and I'm going to run it because I just want to make sure since it's a program, I know I can check it. I could be wrong, but I'm feeling good about this. And since this is now 15 blocks, I'm feeling real good. Yeah, yeah. Mm, okay, thanks. All right. Everything starts with a wall. Build the first part of your house. Putting... Oh, and we have a loop. Okay. Place. And then a move forward. And so what I would expect to happen here is four times, because it's one of the pink loops, right? It's a repeat block. I'll place, move forward, hits the bottom, back to the top, place, move forward, bottom, back to the top, place, move forward. Once I hit four, I'm done. If I had code below the pink block, it would only run after it repeats four times. Ooh, okay. I'll go through all three of these. Let's start with easy. All right, let me see what this does. Okay, so three times I build three blocks and then I turn right. Okay, so now what do I need? Well, I have another wall here, so uh, move forward, move forward, place. That's three, right? And then I think I'll have to go right again, and I'm almost there. Well, let's test. You should always test while doing it. It's so much easier to test as you go. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so this is working, but, but I need one more of that, and then this. Now look at this though. This is a ton of code. So I hope you're yelling at me because look at this. Move forward, ugh. move forward, place, move forward, place, move forward, place. How many times did I just do that? Well, I did that three times. Then what do I do? I turn right. Then what do I do? I move forward, place, I move forward, right? The repeat command comes in handy. Yeah, it definitely does. Let me go ahead and now use this again. And instead of writing this three times, why don't I do this? And then instead of writing this two times. Awesome. Reset. Now this time I'll choose the medium. It's going to be similar to what I already did, right? But let's go ahead and start with this. That builds one wall. How many times do I need to walk? One, two, three, four, five, six, maybe? Well, I already know since looking at their code, I can use this to move multiple times. So if I'm thinking six, I've got to go ahead and throw a move forward place inside of this with a six. Let me hit run. Oh, I start there six times in a row. Maybe then I'll use this as twice up here. No, it's test. 
Okay, and that's good. Once I do this six times, it runs everything in this pink mouth thing six times. Once I run it six times in a row, it's done. Drops below and I turn right. Then I run this twice. Now what am I going to want to do? Looks like a turn right to me. And then maybe three blocks. And again, I'm going to use my repeats because I know I can. Four place. Then what? Looks like a left. And then two of these. Move forward in place. Let's give that a shot. And notice how it all runs in order. Once it's done fulfilling this amount of loops, it drops below and runs the code beneath it. Except I overdid it right there. So what did I do? All right, well, it looks like I went three here. Oh, no, this is my two. So I don't need this. I only need to move forward and put one block. Then I'm going to turn right. Let's try that out. Wow, that's a lot of code, huh? Awesome. Now I'm going to try the largest house. All right, and let me get to the starter code. Hmm. Okay, so this like looks like a move forward afterwards and place a block. Then what? And I'm going to do this without loops at first. Move forward, place a block. Then what? Mm, turn left. And then move forward. And let's see what this does. I'm going to test this a lot because this one's tricky. See, I'm already... Oh, they had me do three. Oh, yeah. All right. Got that was there. So I need to do two there. Then turn right. Mm, that should get me... Let's see. Oh, and I want to turn left. And this is what's great about code. You can be wrong so much. Turn left, move forward, place. Okay. That will get me here. Then what do I want to do? Well, it looks like I'll need to turn right. Once I turn right, I need to move forward and place a block. And then I think I'll have to move forward and place another. And then I think I'll have to turn right. And again, I'm just throwing stuff down to test. Let's see. And we see it going. Okay. So now what? And I'm going to look at putting in loops after. It's easier to see it all laid out for me. Move forward, place, move forward. And I think turn right, move forward. And then it looks like two more. Okay. So, but there has to be some repeat space in here. So let me see here. Let me just grab this. Move forward, place, move forward, turn. Move forward, place, move forward, place, move forward, place, move forward. Wait a minute. That looks like a possible. So right here, we got move forward place. So that could be a two instead. I'm just trying to condense code. There's no reason to repeat code if we don't have to. We can make the computer do that work. And then I think I'd have to go right after this. But then move forward place three times. Let's see. Cool, and now I do move forward, turn, and then I lay down three more blocks, right? Wow, that one is tricky. We got it, though. Loops are super handy. It's sometimes easy to build the whole program and then look for loops. Onward. It's a good plan. Plant crops on both sides so you don't get hungry later. Okay. Okay, so place a crop where I'm standing, I guess, and then move forward, plant a crop, move forward, and I'm just going to start throwing down code to get an idea of what this should look like. Let's see. Oh yeah, except I hope you're yelling at me. We can only use 11 blocks, and I already have 9. I'm repeating myself when I don't need to. Move forward, plant a crop, move forward, plant a crop, move forward, plant a crop. Nope, nope, nope. All right, let's be lazy. I think I needed 6 for this side, and then what am I going to have to do? Hmm. Well, I have to get over here. I assume they don't want me to fall in the water. So I'll go ahead and move forward, turn right, I think. Step forward two, maybe. Turn right. And then let's see if I move forward if I'm there. Nice thing about code, you get to test a lot. And see how everything in the pink mouth loops automatically. So all of that's already done. And it looks like I went too far. There only needs to be a five there. Oh, nope. Six works. And then I move forward. So then I won't need this one. And that's why it's nice to run everything a lot so i could have checked this which i should have done right after i added this and now i can see where i end so i'm like okay i'm gonna want to turn right move forward two turn right now what well i bet i'm gonna have to do the same thing move six times and plant a crop okay well instead of doing or and i can just lay it all out here for you all right so instead of that goodbye hello hello hello
Yeah, yeah. Running into a creeper is a bad idea. Carefully move past and reach the safety of your home. I guess they're not going to chase us. Okay, so I'll turn right. And I can only use nine blocks. I'm going to just try without loops at first. One, two, three, I think. Then turn left. Nope. Oh, this should be left. Then turn right. And let me test. It's always a good idea to test your code a lot. Okay, now I want to move forward. No, I know. Move forward. And then left. Poor Steve. We got you, bud. And then move forward. Ah, uh, wait a minute. Yeah, turn left, move forward. Turn right, maybe? Let's see. Hopefully I don't go a-dying. And notice, I'm already over on blocks. Right? So I got there, but I'm over. And that's fine. I'm testing stuff out. Let's see where we can use a repeat. Well, here's move th forward three times in a row. Hello. Goodbye. What else do we got? Well, this right here, I'm going to move forward. Turn right, move forward. If I wanted to get into the house, what do I need to do? Right here. Oh, well, I would need to turn left now and move forward to walk in the door, right? So that will get me in the door, but that gets me over. But, but, uh, loop. So now, instead, I can use this and bam, bam. So now this will run once. This runs three move forwards. Once it runs three, I drop below and run everything in this loop twice, getting to my happy home. Yeah. Onwards. All right. You'll find the most valuable resources underground. Place two torches in the mine. Hmm, okay. So I need to place torches. And I'm going to do this without loops at first. So, well, I'm right next to this wall. So let me turn left and place my torch. Now what do I want to... Let's just see if we have the right idea. Oh, and the torch is on the ground. Okay. So if it's not on the wall, I guess I can break that. Uh, destroy the block. Now what would I do? Once that's destroyed, I'm going to want to move forward. I'll place a torch where I'm standing. And destroy the block. Let's see. Yeah, two coal as well. But let's see if we could make this even better. Take a look at this. Place a torch, destroy block. Could I move forward one more time at the end? I could. So, goodbye. Hello. Put a two here instead of writing the same blocks twice. Yeah. All right. Walking into Molten. Place cobblestone to create a bridge, then mine two of the iron blocks. We got this. So, I'll say, move forward. Or when I burn up, how do I place cobblestone? Let's see. Oh, okay, that's good. I'm not going to die then. Then I'll move forward, and then that will get me here, I think, and then move forward one more, and then two iron blocks. Well, I'll destroy a block, I think. I'll move forward. Let me test all this. I should test more often. It's a good idea. It's so much easier to find an error as I'm going than have to figure it out after I have like 100 blocks down. Okay, so then I'll destroy one more block. That should do it. I wonder, though. Well, I have 8 for 8 here. But I bet we can do even better. Look at this. So that works. But look, move forward, destroy block, move forward, destroy block. If I use this instead and drop that in here, I'm going to use one less block than I did before. Awesome. All right, what do we got? Lava's hiding. Ooh, we get to use a conditional, an if. So lava's hiding some box. You'll need to cover it up before moving forward. Let's see what this does so far. Okay. Oh, and seven times over, you see what's happening? I say seven times, destroy a block, place cobblestone. However, I'm not moving forward yet. So I already have five blocks here, and I can use up to six. So if lava, to place cobblestone. Now, what do I want to do here? If I put a move forward first, so say I destroy a block and move forward seven times over, Destroy block, move forward, but I'm, ouch, 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 <laughs> right? So first, I want the conditional above this, because code runs in order. And so now I'm saying, okay, repeat this seven times. All right, what are you going to do? I want to destroy this block, and then I'm asking the computer a question. This is called an if statement or a conditional. I say, hey, hey, computer, if lava head, so I'm saying, is there lava here? Computers can only respond true or false, or one or zero binary, one for true, zero for false. So if lava head, and the computer says, True. Yeah, there's lava in front of you. What happens then? Well, if this is true, I will place the cobblestone. Then it keeps going and I'd move forward. Say it's false. There's no lava in front of me. Computer says false. Cool. Well, if lava head and the computer says false, I don't place cobblestone. I just skip over it joop, and move forward. So if there is lava out of me, this happens and then I move forward. Otherwise, I just move forward and it skips that. Let's see. Onward.
Now things are going to get tricky. Mine three red stones but don't fall into the lava. Use if command or a conditional, right, we're checking something, to place cobblestone over any uncovered lava. Yeah, because dying would not be great. Okay, so we have one block here and we can use up to 14. Mine three red stones. One, two, I guess that would be the easiest. Hmm. All right, so that's what I'm going to go for. So I'll do a move forward, move forward, destroy block. And let me see. We're off to a good start. Now, obviously, don't want to be a dying. So I'm going to wait to put any loops because it's really nice to see how things are working. Now, I could turn this way, but then I'd have to turn all the way back around and go this way. Hmm. And I think I'd only have to turn once to grab this and then that. So I think I'll do that. So I'll place cobblestone and then I'm going to try turning left. And I think that's two steps. Destroy block. Let's see if there is lava underneath this one, if I get there. Oh, oh, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a murderer. Whoops, the daisies. Oh, no, that should be turned left still. Okay, so there's no lava there. So then I'll go ahead and move forward. And again, I might hit my block cap. Turn right. Destroy block. Let's see what this gets us. So we have it, right? I could also cover that lava, but let's look for loops real quick. I have 13 blocks. I bet we could do better. Ah, I could have used an if block here. So if lava was ahead, then place it. Because sometimes lava might not be there. So maybe I would check each time I destroy that. And I could have also done that. Oh, there was not lava there. But any time there was, I might want to check to place cobblestone. And that looks pretty good. I could obviously put loops here, but that would still be two blocks. Let's keep going. All right. Great job. You've gathered lots of resources built modest house. Now lay rail from the edge of the map to the door of your house. All right. Let's start putting blocks down. Um, so I guess I will, well, turn right and place rail. Let's test. So far, so good. Again, I'll lay this all out, and then I'll look for a pattern. My goodness, this is a lot. Maybe right here? Let's test. Not a clue if I put too many. Oh, not even enough. Okay. Making this work for it. Move and rail. And notice that I am already over. But again, it helps to lay everything out beforehand when trying to loop. You can see patterns easier. Okay, and now I'm all turned, but let me first look at this pattern, because obviously there is one here. So after turn right, I place mill, rail, move forward, place rail, move forward. There's no reason to do all of this, right? It's good to lay it out so we can see. Okay, so that is repeated six times. Goodbye. And instead, oh look, I may already have a six. So now I'll hit win run, I'll turn right, and then I'll repeat everything in here six times. After that, it will fall out and do this part of the code. Now, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, I'm going to guess. Let's use another loop down here. Maybe it is six. I'm honestly not sure. Wait a minute. Look at this. So five, and this is, notice I'm over on blocks. Always pay attention to that. What if instead I did something like this? I said rail after move right. And then I did my repeat. Wait a minute, though. Then... Will it matter if I try to move forward one block at the end? Probably not. So then I can incorporate that right here into my loop. Boom. And that's what we call efficiency. Let's give it a try. Victory onward. All right, let's see what we got. Congrats, you've completed. Ooh, all right. So what I'll do is I'm going to spend a bit and make my own creation here. And then I'll talk about it at the end. Cool. So what I did with this all is obviously repeat five times. I'm going to place a brick and move forward. Repeat two times. I'm going to build, do birch planks and move forward. Turn left three times over. And I end up building this fun house with all of these loops. They're so handy to use loops. And if I would want to cross water or something like that, you definitely want to use this if loop to check if the water is actually there before doing so. But this is my incredible house. But uh All right. Onward.